All right, what this mass luminosity relation tells us is that the more mass there is in a star, then the brighter it will be, the more luminous it will be. But the key thing is this little exponent here of three and a half. You've probably never seen an exponent of three and a half, and this is determined experimentally, but what it tells us is that a small change in mass, like a little bit more mass, actually makes a star much, much brighter. You can almost think of this like a campfire, like when you add one more log of wood, the fire gets even bigger and, and brighter and hotter, more luminous. But this three and a half is the key thing, and we'll see how that impacts um, the effect here on luminosity. So this question asks, it describes how a star with a mass of two solar masses, two times the mass of the sun, would have a luminosity of, and the way you'd figure that out is you just plug that mass of in solar masses in for m. So we'd say that the, the luminosity in units of solar luminosity, so all of this is compared to the luminosity and mass of our sun. So we'd say the luminosity of this star, which is twice as big as the sun, would just be two raised to the power of three and a half. Now you might not have ever done that before on a calculator. Like you might be used to just using like squared or something like that. So if you have a calculator, you might not even see the right button. There might, you might not see a button to do like raised to the power of three and a half. But with a scientific calculator, you should be able to find like a caret button or caret is like the little, this symbol, sorry. Uh, by caret, I mean like this, that little symbol. Um, but you also might see this x to the y. All right, so the way you would type this in a calculator, two to the three and a half, is you'd write the number two and you'd write x to the y, and there you see the caret I was talking about. You type three and a half, enter. And so you'd see that for a, a star, this kind of gets at what I'm talking about, is 11.3. So for a star that has twice the mass of our star, the sun, its luminosity would actually be 11 times, 11.3 times the luminosity of our sun. So it has this huge dependence on mass. So that's what you'd put here, 11.3. All right, and then likewise, we can kind of work backwards. So imagine there is, so it says, while a star with a luminosity of 3,160 solar luminosities. So imagine that we had a luminosity that was 3,160 solar luminosities. So, you know, thousands of times brighter than our sun. The question then becomes, well, how much more massive is that star than our sun? And there we have to do a little algebra, which is why I want to make this video for you. Because instead of solving for luminosity, that's a case where we're actually solving for the mass. And you might be like, well, how do I undo, like how do I solve for m when it's raised to the power of three and a half? So just like you would take a square root of both sides, if, you, if it's squared, or a cube root, if it's, if it's uh, cubed, in this case, what we're gonna do is for both sides, we're gonna raise it, we're, we're gonna do what, we'll, we'll just call it a three and a half root. And you can do this. Um, three and a half root of both sides. And if you take the three and a half root of something raised to the power of three and a half, then it cancels it out. Now, another way of writing this, like a three and a half root, okay, that's the same as saying, I'll write it right here. Taking the three and a half root of something, like x, is the same as saying x to the power of one over three and a half. So those are two different ways that you could write it. But what we end up with here is an equation, which is to say, if I wanna know what the mass of something is, I can take its luminosity and take the three and a half root of it to get what the mass is in solar masses. So to, to the second part then, we would have to say, all right, um, the mass would equal the three and a half root, it's <laughs> gotta be a better name for it than that, of 3,160. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get out my calculator. And now, there definitely is not a button to do this on our calculator, to raise something like, so you see there is a cube root button. Um, and then look, there is this x to the y button with a, with a radical sign, that like square root symbol, you see that? 
And so I could use that button. So one way to do this would be 3160, and then I can choose the root of this, and I'll say three and a half, and then enter, and I get 9.9979, so this must be 10. Right? Now another way to do this would be to, to use what I shared with you guys, that um, this, this right here, that this is the same as just raising it to one over three and a half, okay? So that might, for your calculator, that might be easier to write it that way. You would do three, one, six, zero. And this one, it's actually not that much easier, but I would say raise to the power of, and then I'd have to do parentheses, parentheses, one divided by three and a half, close the parentheses, and hit enter. And I get the same answer, 9.99799. Okay, so in this case, it's uh, the mass is 10. 10 times the mass of our sun. Which again illustrates this relationship that something which is 3,000 times brighter is actually just 10 times the mass. So I'll write that right here. Okay, I hope that helps make sense out of this mass luminosity relationship.